My mom wore a dress that was too short and acted too nice towards my dad's brother. I was only five years old and didn't realize why my dad locked himself in the room with her. But after that, he explained it to me very clearly. Remember, Michael, Belton is the best cure for disobedience. My father's beliefs made my mother very unhappy. I moved away from my parents and promised myself I would never be like my dad. When I first saw Christina at the club, she was also wearing a short skirt. I had to stand up for her so that no one would dare touch her. Get away from here! We started dating. Eventually, she moved in with me and we got married. I shared my deepest secrets with her and told her about my father. She made me promise that I would never be like him, which was something I didn't want to either. However, one day she stayed late at work. She wasn't answering her phone, so I rushed to her workplace. When I arrived, a little worthless four eyes was yelling at her. He even dared touch my woman. Christina, why the hell are you silent? Where last week report? Christina was petrified with horror because of that dwarf. So I took matters into my own hands. If you shout at her again, I'll kill you. Let's go, Christina. The following morning, Christina didn't say a word, but a message from her boss broke her silence. I got fired. Why were you so rude to my boss? <laughs> You're welcome. You won't work at the jerk anymore. In fact, you don't need to work. I'll gladly provide for you. You just have to obey me, that's all. How dare you? Christina stood up for herself, and I heard my father's words once again. Belt is the best gear for disobedience. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I was out of line. I'll make it up to you. Let's go to dinner at your favorite Italian restaurant. That evening, I made a reservation at the restaurant. Christina took a long time to get there. And it would have been better if she hasn't shown up at all. What the hell are you wearing? Have you forgotten about that guy from the club? who almost took advantage of you. What are you doing? You're acting like your father. It's your fault for not obeying me. <gasps> Christina, wait! I couldn't let her leave as I wanted to have children. Baby, wait. I'm sorry. I swear this won't happen again. Are you insane? I hate you. You could hurt the baby. Christina, don't leave. A child should have a father. I knew that Christina wasn't going anywhere, as she was pregnant and unemployed. And I was right. Christina was on her best behavior and obedient for the next three months. However, she kept attending her stupid yoga classes, which I didn't approve of because of the coach. I didn't trust them because coaches always find a way to flirt with their clients. Once again, I was right. And her social media page 
Christina posted a photo with her coach. Hi, darling. I had a great workout today. Arlot, you are three months pregnant and you are screwing around with some scrawny guy. My father was right. Belting is the best cure for disobedience. You won't leave this house anymore. Is it there? Unfortunately, I didn't calculate my strengths correctly. Damn it! Christina, wake up! I rushed to get some water. But when I came back, Christina was gone. I looked everywhere for her. But she just vanished. I realized that I had gone too far. But I was sure she would forgive me, like she always did. After all, she had nowhere to go. Christina, I've been looking for you for so long. Who is this? A uh, Mr. Johnson, divorce lawyer. Christina is divorcing you. But what about our baby? How is he going to grow up without their father? At first, you were trying to be nice. But your father still lives inside. It's better to be fatherless than have an adherence for a father. Break the vicious cycle of domestic violence. Children absorb everything from a very young age. Good families are those without abusive fathers in them. A girl wearing a lascivious outfit appeared on my doorstep. She was my husband's mistress. But I had no idea at that time. There is no party here. You've got the wrong house. Suddenly, the stranger blocked the door with her foot in a fast sweeping motion. Jack is lying to you. And to me as well. We have something to discuss. I couldn't believe my husband was cheating on me. Since we had been living together quite happily for the past 10 years, was the last time such a perfect wife got a present from her husband. I told her that my husband had given me a set of pots that morning for our wedding anniversary. Quite the gesture. See these earrings? Your husband gave them to me after a week of dating. I was sad. I wanted to end the conversation as soon as possible and cry. But the girl had other plans. We have to teach that liar a lesson. Soon after Jack came back from the supermarket, I met him at the house as if nothing had happened. He didn't suspect a thing. Honey, I couldn't choose a cake, so I bought two. Wow, you look amazing. We were supposed to have a wedding anniversary dinner at home. But I told him I wasn't going to waste my time cooking and suggested for us to go out of town. Great! As long as they have a king-size bed there. I hadn't seen my husband that excited in a very long time. His mistress' plan seemed to be working. The girl told me that Jack loved spontaneity and I was not aware of it. I was naive. I believed that he preferred to stay at home, in peace. Eyes on the road, keep going. At the restaurant, I kept playing my part. I ordered some aphrodisiac foods, but Jack could no longer wait till we were done with dinner. He begged me to go back to our room without waiting for dessert. And I agreed. Back in the room, I asked him to close his eyes. And when he opened them, he was shocked to see a man standing in front of him. Uh, I don't get it. Who is this? Did you forget? You saw him last night. 
He's the taxi driver. The man took Jack and his mistress home the day before. He dropped Jack first. Which was how the girl got our address to make us a surprise. Um, honey, it was a mistake. You see, I've chosen you. It is important for me to spend our anniversary with you. I didn't buy his apology. I had no need for a husband who spent a week thinking whether he needed me or not. I got into a cab and watched the fortuitous meeting between Jack and his mistress. Then I sent the girl a very interesting audio file. Yes, it was a mistake. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was married. But you see, I've chosen you. It is important for me. The girl stopped Jack in his tracks. She played the recording that I sent her. With his exact same words. Um, honey, it was a mistake. You see, I've chosen you. It is important for me to spend our anniversary with you. Jack tried to keep both of us. He told us how hard it was for him to choose. And his indecision has backfired completely. Jack was left all alone. A man leading a double life ends up losing both. <laughs>